When you're building a Redstone computer, I can almost bet that you will want the most power in the smallest space possible. That way, you can fit more into your Redstone computer. One of the most beneficial ways to do this is to create taps. What are taps, you may ask? Well, let's get right down to what they are and why they help us when it comes to designing a Redstone computer. When you hear the phrase tapped or tapping a line, one thing that probably pops in your head is a spy movie. There are two guys having a top secret conversation and a third guy who's listening in. How did this guy get in? Because he tapped the line. He gained access to that phone line without affecting the line itself. The same concept applies to compared to computer architecture. A tap is simply a way of retrieving data with little to no effect on the tapped line. In all honesty, you've probably already been tapping, you just didn't know it. Tapping doesn't have to be super complicated. For example, if we have a line going from A to B, and then we create a line that connects it to this C right here, we have successfully tapped that line, so to speak. Why should we tap our components? Sure, we can split lines, but that can only go so far. The biggest benefit to tapping is that we can shrink the size of our ALU substantially. So let's say we want to create a device that can AND and NOT two one-bit numbers. Well, we could create this right here, but this is very clunky and as you can see, it's hard to use. But with tapping, we can make this circuit look like this. Insane, right? Now how did we do this? Well, a binary AND gate is a combination of NOT and OR gates. If we convert it to an equation, the AND of A and B is NOT A OR with NOT B. So the NOTs of A and B already exist. We just tap them out of the AND gate to get this circuit right here. If you look right here, you can see that we have made a line that obtains data from the mainstream with no effect onto it. Tapping also works in the hexadecimal architecture style. This is not just limited to binary. In fact, I use it all the time. For the RPC's ALU, I've tapped the NOT out of this circuit right here because this is a line that retrieves data without affecting this main add circuit right here. If we mess around the design a little bit, we can get not A and 15 minus A minus B in addition to just A plus B. With tapping, the possibilities almost seem infinite. You can use it on almost any line, gate, or anything else you build with redstone. For example, an OR gate is essentially three NAND gates. So just by looking at it, I can already tell you that we can tap AND, XOR, AND NOT just from a single XOR gate. If we take it a step further, we can tap about 10 functions from one XOR gate. And that's me just looking at it for two minutes. If I looked harder, I'm sure I can find more. Like this AND gate, I intentionally left something out that we can tap. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. As you can see, tapping is crucial if you want to improve functionality inside of a small space. If you want some more tips on how to build a redstone computer, then I recommend that you check out this video right here. Anyways, that's it for now. Well, let's go get changing the world four bits at a time.